Hi, I'm Stephen Strait, you might know me from The Expanse, and here we are, I'm about to experience zero G for the first time for real. So good morning, everybody. How are we all? Hey, good, okay. <laughs> A bit tired, I hear, fine. <laughs> so welcome to the third and final flight of this campaign. Um, a special welcome, of course, to our imminent new members of the ESA Astronaut Corps. Pleasure to fly with you again. I uh, hope your training goes very well today. Uh, also a special welcome to the Director of Human and Robotic uh, Exploration here from ESA, uh, Daniel, Daniel Neuenschander. Very nice to have you on board. Welcome. And a special welcome to Stephen Strait from The Expanse. It's going to be uh, very nice to introduce you to Zero G. Um, anyone who didn't fly already on the last two flights? Anybody? A, a few of you. Okay. Just to note, I hope you maybe you took the time to put, uh, put your name on the list for the free floating area. Please feel free to use it. Please only go when you're assigned so that you don't block the aisle. We need it for, for uh, safe access every time. Okay. I hope the experiments go very well. We don't have any changes in configuration, I don't think. So we should be set up. Um, we, we had good new science results yesterday for the first time created a thermal anti-bubble right this is brand new science for the first time in zero gravity and today we're going to get lots more of them so smooth flight wish you all the best if you have any problems please let us know don't hide it we can help we want this to be the best of the three all right enjoy See you later. Let's go show you to the free floating zone. Oh, yeah, Please go ahead. Okay. So, as all the astronauts getting ready to do their training, to do the training right. uh, with, the, with the different tools and that stuff. Yeah, each one a different station, Amazing. and they're going to do a few parabolas each at each station and rotate so they all get a go at everything. Amazing. And then this is the, well, we can, we can see the rest of the experiments too. Oh, yeah. Right. So the experiments are turned on, they're prepping like preheating, preloading samples, this kind of stuff, sure. getting all their test subjects ready. Right. Um, and all the, all the hanging stuffed animals are... are yeah, the, the, the microgravity indicators. Ah, yes. the, you know that you're in microgravity right. when the stuffed animals start floating. Right, right. That's Otherwise, right. how would we know? How would we know? <laughs> <laughs> so but they, they, they really have... Something like this on a on a on a Soyuz is that right? or SpaceX. Really? Look look carefully if you ever watch a film of a real launch. Yeah. They will often have a little little stuffed animal mascot or something hanging that wow. starts floating. Amazing. Such as this beautiful wombat. Oh yes. <laughs> um, so amazing. that you know when you're in zero G, it's kind of a running joke. Yeah. With with the launches, sure. of course you of course you know, right. but also it's it's it, it gives the teams a chance to bring like a mascot, maybe from their university, sure. maybe a stuffed toy from from their children at home, right, or whatever, sense. and it adds a little human touch yeah. to the aircraft, very, right? Very it, does, it, it. it doesn't hurt. Yeah, and it's sure. a Nice aesthetics. Yes, indeed, yeah. indeed. I like I like the ones that are on a bit more of a spring. Than a, than a string, because yeah. then you see them dip in the double gravity and then right. come back up. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. So we, cool. we see, there's quite a variety. Yes. So, for the first um, eight or so parabolas, yeah. we'll have you in the free floating area. Wonderful. So that you are totally free. You don't need to be strapped down. After that, we'll move you out. Okay. Said so yesterday you can use these black straps. Yeah. We'll have you watching some experiments. Lovely. And maybe we'll. Uh, uh, see if uh, the smug guys, if Nils that you met yesterday sure. has any time, you can at least watch what they're doing. Yeah, May, maybe there's time for you to have a go. Let's okay, see. wonderful. Yeah, yeah, it'd be amazing to watch them actually do it in in real time yeah. with them floating yeah. off the ground. Amazing. Okay, so let's go to the free floating area. So I can feel right now us accelerating, and there's a heaviness that comes with the with the g-force. And I've been told to look at a specific point on the ceiling so I don't get nauseous. And you can feel it. It's such a trip to to feel twice the weight of your body. And then we. Oh. <laughs> 
what a trip. So, as you can see, we're floating around. It's so wild. So, you know, when we were on the expanse, you know, we were, there we go. Yeah, lay back down, head still. Very good. Stay up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That was it. I mean, totally mind blowing. Welcome to Zero G. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Totally mind blowing. It was unbelievable. I, you know, you try to imagine what it feels like, you know, when we were doing the show, you try to visualize it and you work with a choreographer or whatever to get the movements correct. But until you actually feel it, there's really no describing it because it's almost a different different law of physics for your own brain and physiology just so fascinating like such a, such a dream so cool so on the show you know when we were doing a lot of the wire work we were picked in on the sides so the center of gravity is really here and, and what we would do is try to try to make it look effortless with with our with our core work and whatever but with this you know there's such an elegance to the way people move around because because there's no gravity you know you only need the smallest little hit to move in any direction unless unless something stops you right so uh, you know as you can see there's all kinds of people training around and uh, experiments going on and just a uh, life-changing kind of moment for me it's just really amazing we're doing it again boss all right so uh, maybe this time try to push off push around a little bit and see if you can get a bit, bit of control okay <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to do it nice and gentle. <laughs> so tap down. So it's, here we are, we're just floating around right now. It's such a trip to be able to do this because there's no up really, right? So we're just, you know, upside down. <laughs> I mean, what a... All right. I'm going to be sitting up this time. I'm curious to see what the sensation will feel like because obviously your blood pushes down as well with the gravity. So again, I'm going to fix my eyesight to a specific point in the distance to make sure I don't get nauseous. But we'll see how it feels. Oh yeah. So you can feel it coming down. And there's a heaviness I could feel. It's almost like standing up too quickly. And you can see my glasses kind of slipping off of my face as we're going here. <laughs> it's such a wild thing to feel. And here we go. We're about to start going up again. And here we are, right? Starting to get a little bit more control. And it only takes the smallest movement to move around, as you can see. <laughs> so interesting. No, you come closer. Okay. Otherwise, I eclipse you. Yeah. We turn this way. Okay. Lay down. Yep. Your head this end. Uh huh. About this distance. Okay. I'm going to show you how to walk up the wall. Oh, right? amazing. So, we lay as normal. Yep. We want to get your hands like this. Uh huh. The point is, if you tried to just walk, you'd push with your foot and you'd fly that way. Right. right? You've seen how gentle the touch right. can be. Yeah. So all you need at injection is friction. You need a little bit of friction with your fingers. Yeah. 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 Not not pushing down. Right. But stopping your stopping your hands from sliding that way. That's Just good. a little bit of friction, right? So at injection, put a foot up there like that. And just a tiny bit of pressure with your feet, uh -huh. a tiny bit of friction with your with your hands, yeah. 
and as the transition happens, you start to take steps yeah. up the wall. Yeah. We step over the handrail. Okay. Feet on the lights. Right. You're taller than me, so I know you can put your feet on those lights there. Right. Your fingers will still be exactly where they are now. We'll be upside down. We okay. shake hands. But remember, there is no up. There right. is no down. Right. Without gravity, it doesn't matter. Of course. Right. Of course. <laughs> it's so amazing. Yeah. So amazing. Just the, like learn, learning the whole new technique of being able to move. You know? Imagine if we'd been able to film the expanse like this. <laughs> well, I mean, one one day, hopefully, yeah. you know. Okay. So smallest friction this yeah. way. Right. Injection here. Okay. And don't rush it. Yeah. But you you need to to take the force between your, your fingers and your feet right as the transition happens i see okay so foot in place yep a little bit of pressure and off we go we're natural <laughs> hey welcome to the upside down oh thank you sir now they are wrong that, that's we, right we are right i yeah. always knew it relax let go huh? feet down <laughs> Here we are. Ready? <laughs> Incredible. How was that? I mean, just Ooh. unbelievable. Teaching me how to move again. <laughs> Here we go. Right, standing up now. Ready? Which will be even more force down, so my blood has further to go. I'm going to tense my legs up so that my blood stays somewhat in the upper half of my body. Okay. It's like standing up too fast sometimes. Okay, so it's like distance. Five, three, two, one, left. I was. <laughs> I fixed the distance right now. That starts me. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get away. I'm just going to look at the funny deals right there. So I'm going to do this time. I'm going to try and stand up the ceiling. Yeah, it's okay. Injection. I'm up. Well, I couldn't quite stand on the thing. It's still amazing anyway. I suppose it takes a little bit of work to learn how to get out of yourself. Because it's so wild. Come down. And now this is the first time you're standing in hypergravity? Yeah. Oh, accidentally, but never mind. I, yeah. How does it feel? It, you're right. It feels like I've stood up a little bit too quickly. Yeah, because the blood drains out your head a bit. Yeah, a little but bit. It's not too bad, is no, it? No, it's not too it's bad at all. Held still. Held still. Yeah, still. Right. And then you can see my glasses kind of pulling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you can put them off. It's okay. Yeah. It's fine. Your, your arm's heavy, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I could feel it down there. I'm tensing my legs up, as you said. Yeah, oh. uh, yeah. Uh, Five minutes break. Five minute break. Five minute break. Yeah. But it's very clear to me that you spent quite some time in space because very few people get that right first time. Oh wow! The, really? The, the, the subtlety of friction without pushing off the floor. Yeah. And you, and you that, that was well done. Oh, thank you. You're, thank you're you. a natural, thank and very you. few people are as relaxed oh, as you. First yeah. time. Thank, so, thank, so, thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's such think? a trip. I was I was saying before that you know you you imagine for so many years that that those choreographed movements that we did on the show, you know, we tried to make them look real, but they're actually working. Yes, yes. I mean, you know, to actually experience that actual sensation, as you said before, it's indescribable. Yeah. I mean, there's no real, there's no way to really verbalize how it actually feels to have no way. I mean, it's un unbelievable. So, so now with that knowledge, we could let go now, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now with that knowledge of how it really feels, yeah. how do you think in hindsight, you? did do you think you had the right mindset I, I, you know i i it again it's like it's difficult to it's difficult to to visualize it accurately without actually having felt it before but i i think you know we did i think we did a, a decent job of at least you know feigning the the feel and choreography of it you know obviously when we're shooting we have real gravity the suits really weigh something you know it's all that kind of stuff but there there is a looseness to it in reality 
that is, I think, incredibly difficult to emulate if you're not actually in the environment. Don't get me wrong. You did a wonderful job. Oh, I'm just you. wondering how different it, it, it feels. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, it's night and day. I mean, you know, I mean, with on the wires, you weigh more. I mean, you really do feel your weight in every conceivable way. Yeah. And with this, I mean, it it literally it's, it takes your brain to adjust to like a different, yeah. different physical law that, that yeah. your body's used to. It's like being like. And not to sound too dramatic, but to, you're almost born again in a strange way. And you're trying to learn how all of your limbs and stuff are supposed Physics to work. has gone wrong, and we need, you need to relearn how to interact with the universe. Right, right? yeah, right. incredible. And turning upside down like that, did it feel like we were upside down? No. It doesn't no. for you? Okay. No. Interesting. No, it didn't at all. And I, like once we actually just stood up, and they were all up you're right. We, it felt like we were correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's just because... There's no open space, as you said. Perfect. You're a natural, man. Oh, You're thanks. a natural. Thanks. Fantastic. Man.